vocabulary. We all have one, but some are bigger than others. When it comes to the SAT, the bigger your vocabulary, the better. Vocabulary is a big part of the SAT. Approximately 20% of your reading and writing score will be based on vocabulary. The College Board, the company that makes the SAT, and a group of education experts have decided that there are three categories of vocab words. Tier 1, commonplace words, words that most native English-speaking high school students know. Tier 2, semi-difficult words that are important to know. You'll encounter these words in lots of college-level reading. And Tier 3, difficult words that are either rarely encountered in college-level reading or are only found in a limited number of academic fields. The SAT used to focus on these Tier 3 words, but now the SAT focuses on Tier 2. How does this help you? You're still going to have to study vocab, but at least these words are going to be helpful in college and probably the rest of your life. Here's a pro tip. It's actually more important to be able to recognize how to use a word than to remember exactly what it means or how to pronounce it. For example, it would be helpful to know that prescience means the ability to see the future. But say you don't know what it means. You can learn hundreds of new words like prescience using flashcards. Chegg actually has a great flashcard app called Flashcards Plus that you can download and use from the App Store. You can create your own deck of vocabulary words or use one of the hundreds of decks that students like you have already created. Flip through dozens of words in minutes and keep only the ones you need all right in the palm of your hand. Or if you're feeling crafty, you can make your own flashcards. For those of you who've never made an old school vintage flashcard, here's a quick breakdown. First, get yourself an index card. Second, grab a pen. Now, write the word on the front of the card, then write the definition on the other side. Pretty tricky, right? It's also useful to write a sentence that will help you remember the word. Bada bing! You have a vintage flashcard. Please, hold the applause. All joking aside, making flashcards digitally or the old school way with a sentence is actually super helpful. This way you're not just memorizing, you're learning to use each word in context, which is what the test is all about. Okay, let's get back to prescience. My flashcard for prescience would look something like this. My sentence could read, experienced sailors often have the prescience to predict storms. This is also a good example of how you can identify the noun form of this adjective. If you know the word prescience, then you also know that calling someone prescient means that they have the ability to see the future, like our friend Rusty the Sailor here. So let's pretend that you didn't make a flashcard for prescience. Even if you saw this word for the first time on the SAT, you could still figure it out using another pro tip. Know the roots. A lot of words in English come from Greek and Latin roots. Prescience is one of them. If you can spot roots in a word, you can easily break it up into familiar parts. First, see if you can recognize any prefixes or suffixes. In prescience, that's pre, which means before. Now we have before science, which doesn't really make sense, but wait, there's more. When you check out the list of the most common Latin and Greek roots in the lecture notes for this lesson, you'll see that psi actually means to know. When we rewrite the word again, we get before to know. In other words, to know before. That's pretty close to the dictionary definition of the word, which goes to show how quickly you can define a word just by figuring out its roots. Now you have a few more tricks up your sleeve. I predict that if you utilize both the flashcard and root strategies, and spend at least 10 minutes a day learning new vocab, this test will be a breeze.